Let's go, y'all. Unreal Reality, back with it, serving y'all your weekly fix of the internet's creepiest, spookiest, scariest, most viral, most outlandish TikToks and conspiracy theories found hidden in the deepest corners of the internet and dark web. Now, with that out of the way, I have a banger for y'all this week, all right? Also, sidebar, uh, we are going to start posting twice a week. Uh, I believe it's going to be Wednesdays and Sundays or Wednesdays and Saturdays. So be on the lookout for that. And if you're not subscribed, hit the subscribe button, turn on the bell notifications, smash that like button, and uh, let's get right into this week's video, y'all. This video has been published on the dark web with the title, The Dark Web is the Only Truth. In this video, we see a man celebrating his birthday but nothing scary. But in the description, it says that this man would be 171 years old and that he would have undergone several experiments to get to this point. What do you think? Mm -mm. Sorry, guys, I hate to sound grim, but I have absolutely no interest in living to be that old. You can't believe what happened to Kanye West. In a shocking twist to the celebrity world, whispers emerge that Kanye West, after a hauntingly cryptic performance, mysteriously vanished, only to be seen entering a covert lab known for pioneering human cloning. Months later, as a man claiming to be Kanye returns to the spotlight, subtle changes in his behavior, music, and messaging spark rumors among fans. The real Kanye has been replaced. The conspiracy deepens when an anonymous source, dubbed the Yeezy Insider, starts leaking classified documents and footage, unveiling a world where the line between original and duplicate blurs. I'm sorry to disappoint, guys, but uh, no chance that Kanye's clone. Ah, hold on. Let me take that back. I do believe in cloning. Kanye could be cloned, but there's no chance that he's letting that clone run around out in public. Mm -mm. No way. Oh, there's this picture on my dad's phone, and it's really scary, and they think it's the last thing he's gonna see before he dies. This just showed up on his phone out of nowhere. It says January 30th, 2027, and no one knows where this picture was taken from, or what it's of. Uh, he doesn't remember taking this picture. It's just on his phone. I can't call it, guys. What do you think? Creepy, weird, time-traveling, paranormal picture just poof, pops up? Or, or is this girl just having uh, a little bit of fun with her old man? Holy crap. Have y'all seen this story? This is Erica D'Souza Nunez from Rio de Janeiro. And earlier this week, she rolled her deceased uncle into a local bank in a wheelchair to try to secure a loan. Now, behind me is the deceased uncle. I'm not going to show him here. However, you can see the video of this on TMZ. In the video, you can see she's clearly having to hold his head up. She continues to talk to him, asking him if he understands, if he can hear her. At one point, she even attempts to place a pen in his hand so that he can sign this loan for her. Of course, bank authorities knew that something was wrong, so they did call the police. The victim was identified as Paolo Roberto Braga. And they say that he had been dead at least for several hours before she wheeled him into this bank to attempt to get this $3,400 loan. Erica Denise may be charged with theft through fraud, embezzlement, and abuse of a corpse. Now authorities are trying to decide the cause of death of this man and if he has any other family members or if anyone else is involved. Damn. I'm not saying that I'm rich or wealthy by any means whatsoever, but uh, I couldn't even imagine risking going to prison for the rest of my entire life over a measly 3000 bucks.
Yo, did my man just check in Casper the Friendly Ghost, or is he just bored out of his freaking mind and having fun with uh, the people watching the security cameras, <laughs> aka us? <laughs> What's up, y'all? So we're back with some more creepy celebrity conspiracy theories, and these two obviously involve Post Malone and the Kardashian girls and curses. So let's get into it. All right, so the first curse we're going to talk about is the Kardashian curse. So back in the 1800s, the Kardashians had an ancestor named Kikil, and she was a 19-year-old mother who was abused as a child. So she ended up running away because a bunch of bad shit was happening to her in her life up until this point. So like I said, she runs away and she allegedly seeks refuge in this village named Shikahope. <laughs> Y'all, I swear that's what that village is, okay? That village in Armenia is known for like witches and shit, right? So Kikil ends up connecting with four of the witches in that village and she tells them that she doesn't want any of her future generations to go through what she went through as a child. So she wants them to have beauty, fame, and fortune. And the witches granted that, but allegedly the catch was that they would never find true love and they would always have bad luck when it comes to relationships and any man who they dealt with would end up going downhill after they were done with him. Because to give to them, it has to be taken from somewhere, allegedly. Fast forward to now, the Kardashian curse is allegedly still going strong from how things have turned out for a lot of the guys they've been in relationships with. I'm not one to believe in black magic or curses or witchcraft. However, hold on a sec, guys. This one, the proof is in the pudding, y'all. Just check out this roster of men that the Kardashian women have just totally fucked up. All right? You have uh, Ray J, Lamar Odom, Blake Griffin, Chris Humphreys, Tyga, Scott Disick, Kanye West. I mean, the list goes on and on, guys. I could keep going, but I'm going to Oh, let's not forget the absolute mother load of them all, Bruce Jenner. I mean, listen, speaking of good old Brucey Bruce, check out this next clip, y'all. Get ready to have your mind blown, all right? How did we not notice this on the show Married with Children? Excuse me, aren't you Bruce Jenner? And now please welcome Mr. Bruce Jenner. When they go out to dinner, it's all of them. The mom, the kids, and the grandma, Bruce Jenner. You know, it's whack as I can't believe that came out of Bruce Jenner's vagina. Bruce Jenner is a man. No, Brian. That's what the press would have you believe, but he's not. Bruce Jenner is a woman. Excuse me. Aren't you Bruce Jenner? <laughs> mm-hmm. what I tell you? Here's what I want to know, though. Is that Bruce didn't uh, come out or transition, I don't know, whatever the hell it's called, to like mid to late 2010s, right? They were doing skits about this back in 96. So from what I thought, Bruce Jenner was like, uh, you know, all American, former Olympian, man's man, you know? So there had to be some kind of rumors or gossip or something back then that would make um, the showrunners make skits like this, right? A man capturing a boat racing towards the shore. It was like, and the lifeguards are sitting right there, so I thought it was a planned staged event. The man who didn't want us to show his face or his name says he saw the migrants jump out of the boat once it got to shore. And 22, I counted 22 people jumping out. They looked like a military exercise. And run up some nearby stairs. One car, one SUV, and then like 10 got in it, but they left the rest behind and they just started walking toward, you know, Carlsbad. A handful of North County leaders are raising their concerns about border security in our beaches after this incident. We cannot have people just rushing in on boats onto our shores and going into neighborhoods. One of them being County Supervisor Jim Desmond. We need harsher penalties on human smugglers. We need the state and federal officials to bring more resources, whether it's more Coast Guard or National Guard. Now, the Biden administration is allocating $45 million to California to address migration at the border. The president also plans to issue an executive order drastically limiting the number of asylum seekers who can enter the country. Without this getting into like some political outrage, 
all right? Maybe, just maybe, a wall at the border isn't enough. Maybe we need a wall surrounding our entire country, guys, all right? Now, wait a sec. Before you call me like a bigot or something, let me just let you in on a little secret. I am from the tri-state area, and I am watching on a daily basis these migrants making TikToks, instructing their friends and family back home on how they can get to New York City, break into properties for sale or abandoned properties, and game the system to get squatters rights. We need to talk about this photo. This photo was discovered by a single mother who recently bought a new phone. She came home, placed her phone on the table, and started watching TV. But soon after that, her son found the phone and asked to play with it. She agreed, thinking nothing unusual was going to happen. But around 11 p.m. that same night, the mother decided it was time to to go to bed. Strangely though, she found her son already in bed, which was very unusual for him. Normally, he'd want to stay up a lot longer. That's when she noticed her new phone was still in her son's hands. So she took it from him and unlocked the phone. At first, only seeing some minor changes. He changed the background on her phone and took a few pictures around the house, nothing too alarming. But since the photo seemed random, she started deleting them until she saw something that shocked her. This was the last photo on her camera roll, showing her son sleeping, but the photo was taken by someone else above him. Follow for more stories. What does one do in a situation like this? No, seriously, like, do you get a new phone? Do you move? Do you call the police? And if you call the police, what do you tell them? Now, what I want to know is, why didn't anybody on the train walk up to this lady and ask her, what the hell are you doing? <laughs> Listen, believe you me that if I'm on the train and I see this, I am marching right up to that lady, tapping her on the shoulder and asking her, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> if your child wants to go to the toilet, be very careful, because when this dad takes his daughter to the ladies room, he's going to find a man hiding there. On seeing his father, the man will pretend to dry his hands, and when daddy tries to confront him, he won't have much to say. Right? Uh, sorry. This, that's the women's bath. And this kind of thing doesn't just happen to other people, it can happen to you too. Watch this video in which a little girl playing in front of her house is called by someone in his car who asks her if she wants a bicycle. Frightened, the little girl runs home. Once again, at a late hour of the night, a strange figure has approached the front door of a house. The woman seems to have a slight smile on her face at first, as she stares at the front door of the house in confusion. She stands there for at least two whole minutes, nervous and confused, looking back several times with a paranoid air. But what's most disturbing about this unexpected visit is the large kitchen knife in her hand. Monsters are a real thing, guys, and they come in all different shapes, sizes, and forms, okay? If I... Yo, where the hell 
did little man go that was hiding behind the couch <laughs> young will smith knew what was going on do you believe in government conspiracies oh absolutely no i'm serious I no no definitely did. no oh my god i know i heard you did are you serious now oh yeah no i'm very serious you can't no, tell you can't tell no i read that you felt that the government was deliberately spraying coal germs in subways was deliberately trying to make people ill with the AIDS virus. This is pretty serious stuff. Do you really feel that? Well, that's a good question. Well, I'm with Barbara Walters now. Oh, that's a serious one. Okay, so I gotta, now, because people are gonna chase me after this. Oh, just like they chased Martin Lawrence? People are gonna chase me. Um, I believe that it is quite highly possible that, that the, the AIDS virus is a result of genetic warfare testing by american agents absolutely listen i don't know where to start with will okay because as you can see in the clip back in the day will was this incredibly woke person and it seems that one day he was just the polar opposite totally out of the blue there's lots of speculation that he was cloned. And listen, there's tons and tons of videos out there of Will Smith interacting with what looks to be a gaggle of clones of his. So I don't know. Is Will Smith cloned? It seems like it's certainly possible, right? Things that the government don't want you to know, part 24. There's no point in working a job. In 1933, the government went bankrupt. And they got rid of all of our money. And then they gave us a fiat currency called Federal Reserve Notes. And they also gave us something called the credit system. Since the government is so much in debt to us, they basically offered to pay for everything. Yes, your house, your car, everything's already paid for. Why would you go work for $15 an hour and you work half your shifts for free because they take 50% of your income when all you really have to do is walk into the bank with a good credit score and they'll give you some imaginary numbers on a plastic card. Make that make sense. You know what's sad? That this is the way that his entire generation thinks. And it's scary, it's sad, and it's aggravating. Like, does $15 an hour suck? Sure. Does paying taxes just suck? Duh. But what's the alternative, my guy? You're not going to work, be a drain on society, and then go to jail for not paying your taxes? Like, seriously, if you don't make enough money, get a second job, get a third job. Hell, get a fourth job like the rest of us are doing. Stop being a little girl crying about what you're owed. Sack up and handle your business like a fucking man. No? Am I wrong? Aliens are real. When are you going to set age limits on Congress? You're all way too fucking old. Where's all the money you're sending to Ukraine going? You're clearly laundering it. Show us Epstein's client list. Um... Aliens are real. Yeah, nobody fucking cares. Shit. <laughs> this is hysterical. But is it wrong? Shit. World's smartest kid thinks that CERN blew the world up in 2008. Maybe that fucking kid is right. Energy cannot be created nor destroyed, only transferred from form to form. But if there are an infinite number of universes, then there's 100% chance that this happened, at least maybe in another universe, maybe not ours. Then again, there's also an infinite chance that this is our universe. Joe Rogan and the world's smartest kids seem convinced that CERN is the epicenter of world-altering experiments. Maybe they're looking in the wrong direction. Like the true architects of reality-bending science are just toiling away, not in the spotlight of CERN, but in dark corners so secretive even their existence is a state secret. Quantum reality hacking, consciousness transference, time manipulation, experiments that don't just bend time, but fold it, altering the past through the present or universal simulation control. Maybe they're manipulating the parameters of our simulated universe. Tell me what you think in the comments. Where's the real Pandora's box, CERN or secret shadow labs? Um, can anyone out there uh, explain to me like a five-year-old what in the fuck this 12-year-old was talking about?
of the greatest proof is that the Earth is flat. We're spinning at 1,000 miles an hour. We're orbiting in the heliocentric model of the Earth, the Sun, at 66,600 miles an hour. While doing that, we're chasing the Sun at almost a half a million miles per hour. So we're corkscrewing and spinning through an infinite universe, never to return to where we were before. The Georgia Guidestones had a little hole drilled in the middle stone, and if you look through it, there is the star Polaris, our North Star. How can we be traveling in all these different directions, traveling infinite distances, and that star just always remains in that hole? There's no way it would be in that circle a day, let alone 40 years. But it was there. Somebody blew it up. I personally believe that the Earth is round or oval or whatever they call it. But I will say that some of these uh, theories are shockingly convincing. Is the government hiding an entire civilization from us? The Tartarians were said to be a civilization that unlocked the key to free energy, allowing the Tartarians to advance exponentially, as citizens were allowed to express their creativity freely without the stress of work, leading to many great inventions and grand architecture. However, a powerful organization that controlled the world with a cell of energy had already invested heavily into energy production and lobbied against Tartaria as free energy will essentially take away all the control that they had. This organization tore Tartaria apart and erased them from our history books, making it seem like Tartaria never existed. But if you look carefully, the evidence of Tartaria is still there. In old maps, in architecture around the world that seemed to advance, places like the Taj Mahal, the Great Wall of China, or even the pyramids in Egypt looked way too advanced to have been built by their respective nations, but collectively, all have similar themes in their design, similar themes aimed at harvesting energy. So, yeah, and speaking of the Great Wall of China, was that built to keep China safe? Or was it in fact built to keep Tartaria safe? So, this celebrity was trying to expose what's really going on. These are actually two deaths, and you might not know how they're related at first, but I'll explain to you why. So Lisa Lopez died in 2003 in a car crash in Honduras. There was a documentary that came out on MTV called The Last Days of Left Eye. In the documentary, they were saying how she was getting ready to prepare to die, like she knew she wasn't coming back. The reason why she was in Honduras was to talk to Dr. Sebi. For those of you who don't know, Dr. Sebi is a doctor who believes in natural cures for cancer, diabetes, and more. She was really close with him, and she wanted to come back and tell everybody about the cures that she knew. She kept saying she didn't think she was going to be coming back. As for Nipsey Hussle dies in March of 2009. He was actually making a documentary on Dr. Sebi. He believed that Dr. Sebi died because he was being silenced. And his words were that they can't kill us all. Before he was even able to finish the documentary, he didn't end up dying as well. People believe that they were both set up because they were trying to give out information that nobody wants them to know. I mean, there's no cure for cancer, right? And diabetes. The treatments are really profitable. It could be a coincidence or it could be what happened. Remember, these are just conspiracies. You don't have to agree. But follow for more and comment what you think. So, okay, I'll roll with it. I could see left eye, um, you know, digging into Dr. Sebi. She had cancer, looking for um, cancer alternatives, medication alternatives. But why in the hell was Nipsey Hussle making a documentary about Dr. Sebi? Wasn't he like a rapper? This is definitely the scariest video I've ever made. It's not just for New York City, it's for the entire state of New York. We are all gonna have to run and get the fuck out of here. Let me explain to what happened over the weekend. Rule 213, anybody remember what Rule 213 was supposed to be? Or what it is now? Over a year ago, Governor Hochul tried to have something come in place called two, Rule 213, where the state can come remove you from your home and put you into quarantine. And I'm not talking about C-19, I'm talking about any disease, including Lyme disease, toxic shock syndrome, things that aren't even contagious, okay? This happened last March. It was approved to go through until a bunch of lawyers sued them for it. And the judge appealed it. They said, this is not gonna go through. No thanks, goodbye. Until this past September, when Governor Hochul appealed that decision. He followed up with the New York State Supreme Court Appellate Division, Fourth Judicial Department. Both sides gave their arguments. Hochul's lawyers saying, oh, it's not gonna be as bad as you think, while the other lawyers saying what the nightmare will be if this goes through. Number one, there's no age restriction. It could be your newborn baby, it could be your grandparents, it could be you who just gave birth. There are no restrictions to removing the person that needs to come out and go in quarantine. Could be in the middle of the night, middle of the day, while you're at work doesn't matter. They take you, you have no right. There is no due process. There are no court hearings. 
There is also no time duration limit. You are there until they tell you you can leave. You are forced also to take whatever medicine that they give you, whatever vaccine that they decide is good for you. On that list also includes experimental drugs. They are allowed to experiment with your body to see if something will work. I'm not making this shit up. This is all listed on the appeal. The worst part is you are not allowed to take a test to prove that you are not even sick. They don't care about test results. If they deem you to be a problem, they just take you out and put you into a quarantine. If you look up on Google, some websites will say, no, it's not a quarantine camp. It's something else. Well, really, uh, what the fuck would you call it? Mm -mm. This is real. This is not. I repeat, this is not fake news, guys. All right. They are now allowed in the state of New York to enter your property and pull you out of your house if they feel they have to. Right. And mm -mm -mm, don't think this is just a New York issue because New York is just the, the testing grounds. So if it goes well in the city, they're going to roll this sucker out to every other state, guys. Just watch. They are quite literally stripping us of our rights, guys. We are living in scary freaking times, okay? Listen, if you made it this far in the video, huge, huge thank you goes out to y'all. We're on the road to 10,000 subs, so if you're not subscribed, smash that subscribe button. Turn on the bell notifications. If you like the content, smash that like button. Takes you guys no more than a second and means the world to the channel. With that said, thanks for watching, guys. We'll see y'all next week. Peace!